More than a dozen school districts shut down Monday across a wide swath of southeastern Kentucky as a grueling search stretched into a third day for a gunman who opened fire on an interstate highway and wounded five people over the weekend. Trooper Scotty Pennington from the Kentucky State Police said this manhunt has become a methodical effort, similar to hide and seek. Searchers have been combing the rugged, hilly area since Saturday evening, when a gunman began shooting at drivers on Interstate 75 near London, a small city of about 8,000 people about 75 miles south of Lexington. Joseph A. Couch, 32, was named a suspect in the shooting after authorities recovered his SUV on a service road near the crime scene. They later found a semi-automatic weapon nearby that they believe was used in the shooting, said Deputy Gilbert Acciardo, a spokesperson for the sheriff's office. Authorities vowed to keep up a relentless pursuit of the gunman in the densely wooded area as local residents worried about where the shooter might turn up next. Administrators in Rockcastle County, just north of where the shooting took place, closed for the day, as did Knox County to the south. Classes also were cancelled at three regional college campuses. This is a tragedy that has happened in the edge of Law County and Rockcastle County, and hopefully we can get some resolution to this quickly and in a timely manner. I know the citizens of our community in both Rockcastle and Laurel counties are, are, are stressed to the max and, and law enforcement is working tirelessly to bring this to a, a calm and an ease for them. Um, this manhunt has become a, a methodical effort, uh, similar like a hide and seek. We're focused on protecting the residents and their homes and the businesses during this critical time. Our goal is to apply steady pressure and wearing Mr. Couch down. Uh, the longer he is in the woods, you know, late, last night it got pretty chilly and today it's got kind of humid and hot. Uh, hopefully he has no water and nothing to eat and just time that we will wear him down and putting pressure on him with constant steady uh, air, air, air helicopters flying over, drones flying over, uh, dogs, SRT in, in, the, uh, in the woods looking, um, cars run up down the interstate. Just things like that is putting pressure on him. And, and hopefully he's, he'll eventually just walk out of the woods and give himself up. This is a constant communication effort. So people, you know, ask why aren't we just going in there? You know, if you've followed my Facebook in the last hour or so, we have gave you a photograph of the area. It's not like going over to this business and looking for somebody in there. It's not like going to a football field and trying to find somebody behind the bleachers. We are in the Daniel Bune National Forest and this is thousands and thousands of acres and I stated last night it's kind of like a jungle. Well it is like a jungle and we have cliff beds, we have sinkholes, we have caves, we have culverts that go under the interstate, we have re uh, creeks and rivers. Uh, and the dense brush. I mean, it's not something I can just take my dog for a natural walk through. Yes, there are paths, but when we're looking for somebody, we have to go through those dense areas. We have to, we have to go and make sure no rock is unturned to find not just him, but to find evidence. He was in the military, but it was not the Army uh, National Guard. It was the Army Reserves. So um, he, he's been discharged with an Arnold discharge. Um, so I wanted to clarify that. And you got to think it's hunting season. People are still out there hunting. So we encourage people in the community, if you're going to be hunting, please don't be out at Cromer's Ridge in Livingston area. Please stay away from that area for a couple of days until we come to resolve. And, and, and people out in the community don't, don't have somebody that, I'm going to save the world. I'm going to just go out and go find him myself. Because not only could, could uh, you get harmed, you, you could get killed, and, and we don't want that to happen. And so, as of this time, we have not, the evidence has not come that we have located him, but it's very slow. It's a very slow process. Mandatory evacuations are expanding as a wildfire burns in the foothills of a national forest east of Los Angeles. Tens of thousands of homes and other buildings are being threatened by the so-called line fire. 
The blaze was burning uncontrolled along the edge of the San Bernardino National Forest, about 65 miles east of Lane. As of Sunday morning, the blaze had charred about 27 square miles of grass and chaparral. The cause is under investigation. More than 600 firefighters were battling the blaze, along with water-dropping helicopters and other aircraft. County officials, who declared an emergency Saturday evening, issued evacuation orders for Running Springs, Arrowbear Lake, areas east of Highway 330 in other regions. Extreme temperatures, wind and lightning strikes have allowed the fire to grow rapidly, the county said in a statement. No injuries were reported, and no homes or other structures had been damaged or destroyed.